On October 13, 2024, Hezbollah launched a significant unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, attack on an Israeli defense forces, IDF base near Haifa, marking a critical escalation in the ongoing Israel-Hezbollah conflict. The attack involved Hezbollah's Mirsad-1 drones, a technology that has evolved over the years into a potent weapon for the militant group, signaling both a strategic shift in their military tactics and a direct challenge to Israeli defense capabilities. The Mirsad-1 UAV has been a cornerstone of Hezbollah's aerial strategy since its first use in the early 2000s. Initially developed by Iran and based on the Ababil T or Mohajer, two platforms, the Mirsad-1 is a relatively small and lightweight drone with multiple roles, primarily focusing on reconnaissance missions. However, it has also been adapted to serve in offensive operations, including as a suicide drone. With a range of 120 kilometers, the Mirsad-1 can carry up to 40 kilograms of explosives and is capable of operating at altitudes of up to 3,000 meters. While its primary mission was surveillance, its ability to carry explosive payloads has enabled Hezbollah to employ it in kamikaze-style attacks. The drone's top speed of 370 km per hour further enhances its ability to strike swiftly and effectively, bypassing traditional defense measures and taking Israeli forces by surprise. The Mirsad-1 first gained international attention in 2004 when Hezbollah successfully used the UAV to infiltrate Israeli airspace during two high-profile incursions, one in November 2004 and another in April 2005. Since then, it has become a central component of Hezbollah's strategy to challenge Israel's technological superiority and to disrupt Israeli military operations. The attack on the IDF base in Benyamina, near Haifa, represents one of the most audacious drone strikes by Hezbollah in the ongoing conflict, underscoring the evolving nature of the warfare between the two parties. Hezbollah launched multiple explosive drones targeting the military base, resulting in the deaths of four Israeli soldiers and leaving several others wounded. The attack, which occurred deep within Israeli territory, highlights the growing reach and sophistication of Hezbollah's drone capabilities. Hezbollah's official narrative frames the attack as a direct retaliation for Israeli airstrikes in Beirut and southern Lebanon. The militant group has used this strategy of asymmetric warfare, employing advanced drones to hit high-value Israeli targets as a way to retaliate against Israeli aggression while avoiding direct confrontation with Israel's well-equipped military forces. This pattern of strikes has raised concerns about the vulnerability of military installations located far from the immediate front lines of conflict. This attack is part of a broader regional strategy by Hezbollah to exert pressure on Israel while simultaneously supporting Palestinian efforts against Israeli military operations. With Israeli airstrikes targeting Hezbollah positions in southern Lebanon, the frequency and intensity of drone attacks underscore the growing capabilities of the militant group. These attacks have exploited gaps in Israel's air defense systems, especially in regions that are not immediately adjacent to the active theaters of conflict, exposing vulnerabilities in Israel's preparedness. The attack on the IDF base also signals Hezbollah's determination to escalate the conflict, particularly in response to Israel's airstrikes. The northern border of Israel has become a potential flashpoint for further regional instability, with the risk of the conflict spreading beyond the borders of Gaza and Lebanon. Hezbollah's use of drones is indicative of the group's asymmetric warfare strategy, striking Israeli infrastructure and military positions in a way that challenges the Israeli defense system without triggering full-scale war. However, this tit-for-tat strategy raises concerns that both sides are inching closer to a more prolonged and destructive conflict. As Hezbollah continues to deploy Mirsad-1 drones in increasing numbers, the international community watches closely, aware that the conflict could intensify rapidly. The attack on the IDF base near Haifa may only be the beginning of a new phase in the Israel-Hezbollah conflict, where drone warfare plays a larger and more central role in the military strategies of both sides. With Hezbollah positioning itself as a key actor in the regional struggle against Israel, the potential for further escalation remains high. The conflict's evolution is likely to have far-reaching implications not only for Israel and Lebanon but for the broader Middle East as well. As this asymmetric warfare unfolds, Israel faces a growing challenge to its air defense systems, while Hezbollah's ability to strike deep within Israeli territory suggests that the nature of modern warfare in the region is changing. Both sides are now engaged in a precarious cycle of retaliation, with each new strike heightening the risks of a broader and more devastating conflict. The situation remains fluid, and the outcome will depend largely on how both parties navigate the tensions surrounding this new era of drone warfare.